I want to let the public know this is not overhyped. Thankfully, in Ohio, we're a month or a few weeks behind some of the hardest hit countries. You look at Italy, Spain, France, particularly Italy, it's become a critical situation there. They saw this massive increase in cases and so many people got sick that it overwhelmed their healthcare system. Again, young adults, children are not getting sick, but it was such wide, you know, so widespread in Northern Italy, it overwhelmed their, health, their healthcare system. Flatten the curve means do social distancing, slow the spread, avoid this spiking cases that causes critical issues with healthcare delivery. Currently, there's no vaccine for the coronavirus, there's no medication, and we know it's very contagious. So the only way to slow the spread it's to limit contact between people. People need to find their social contacts in their family, in their core groups, or find ways to connect with people digitally. You know, this weekend, I, I, I FaceTime my elderly parents. That was how I, instead of visiting them in person. And I think, you know, FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, digital platforms, and then people should support their neighbors. I mean, you can support your neighbor without being six feet from them, without going in their home. So. It's an extraordinary circumstances. We should limit contact with people outside of our core group of family and friends and find ways to connect with people that are not dangerous for spreading the virus and support each other.